I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the aligned puff stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. It is pretty much the same on the front and the back and it creates a nice thick fabric. Because it has uh, worked uh, using a variety of these puff stitches, it does take a little bit more yarn than maybe some of your more straightforward st stitch patterns. So this is the pattern that we're going to work on today. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, the stitch design as well as what you might use it for. So please feel free to use those in the, leave those in the comments. As well, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as this one. Today, I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Your Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making our slip knot. You're then going to need a foundation chain that is a multiple of two stitches. So work an even number of stitches. Today I'm going to work 20. So once you've worked out an even number of stitches, you're going to start by working one single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, work a single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip one chain, and single crochet into the next. You'll repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next. All the way across to your final stitch and in your final stitch you will work your final single crochet. At the end of your row one you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to start row two by working a half double crochet stitch into that top of that first single crochet. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. So work a half double crochet stitch. Next, you're going to skip, so you have that, um, in, skip that first stitch, and into your chain one space, you're going to work your first puff stitch. Now your puff stitch is essentially a half double crochet four together. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook and you're going to do that um, for a total of four times. So there's one, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, draw up a loop. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, draw up a loop, and one more time yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. So you're going to have a total of nine stitches on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw your yarn through all nine without letting it go, all nine of those loops on your hook. And that is your puff stitch made. You're then going to chain one, skip the next single crochet and work another puff stitch into the next chain one space. So again, yarn over into the chain one space, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop. Do that a total of four times. Once you have nine loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all nine loops. Puff stitch is made, chain one. Skip the next single crochet and repeat. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Work your final puff in your final chain space 
and then finish off by working a half double crochet stitch into the top of that first single crochet. So I'm here at the end of row two working my final half double crochet stitch and then I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For row three you're going to start by working a single crochet into the first uh, half double crochet stitch, chain one, skip the next puff stitch and work a single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch and single crochet into the next chain one space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final puff stitch, you chain one and work your final single crochet into that starting half double crochet. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're going to simply repeat rows two and rows three. So your row two started with your half double crochet into the top of the single crochet, then into that next chain space, you're going to work your first of your puff stitches. Chain one, skip the single crochet and work your next puff into the chain one space. You repeat that all the way across, working a final half double crochet into your final single crochet stitch, chain one, turn your work, and then repeat row three. So you can continue to work this pattern for as long as you desire, and that's all there is to working the aligned puff stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.